Hello everyone, how you going? Alright, I'm recording this on two cameras. I'm here today, I've got this beautiful 5 kilowatt deer inverter. And I'm using my other inverter as a grid. And I'm going to show you how I've got this unit set up. So it works as an off-grid inverter but with grid backup. So you can shave power off the grid. Um, like this is only a 5 kilowatt inverter and some of you have said well Chris that, that's a bit too small for some of the loads I have but with grid shaving like you can set this I'll show, I'll show you my settings and then we'll have a look at it okay so first of all we, we, we click on this little wheel at the top here this little cog and we go into that one there and here you see I've got zero export to CT. Now that's just a little sensor that you clip to the positive wire coming from the grid. In my case coming from the other inverter. Okay, I have the solar set at the top there to 3000 watts. Now this is the important one to tick here. Grid peak sharing. Okay, so when your inverter gets to its peak load it can take from the grid. Now because my grid just happens to be an 8,000 watt inverter or an 8 kilowatt inverter, I have that set to 8,000 watts. Okay, important, important setting. And you need to, if you're connecting to the grid, you do need to put the CT in. Um, if you don't know what a CT is, when you buy a unit, it's in a box marked CT. And read your manual. Okay, so let's go out of here. The next setting you will need to do is battery. Okay, so I have my battery set at lithium. Okay, I have the size of my battery capacity. I have my charge current set and I have my maximum discharge current set for this inverter. All right, then we go down and this one here, this is where you find your generator. All right, you've got your you start and all that sort of stuff here or you've got your grid charge here all right now i've only got grid signal checked okay that's the ct so that's turned on that's checked okay but what you if you had a auto start generator on this for instance okay you would set your generator charge and generator signal this for start button don't 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 ever tick that um, that's only there like if you know there's a really big storm coming and your batteries are only half charged okay or um, you're in a big storm and you've lost the grid already okay then you can actually force your generator to start to top your batteries up for the that, that night's use. Okay, you can force it to start with this force start tick. Okay, and then we go down again and in here you see your lithium mode. For my batteries and a few videos ago, three or four, I can't remember, I did a a battery compatibility list for the deer inverters. Okay, so if your batteries are in there then you select whatever number that tells you in on, on the setting. For my case, for the uh, Green Bank lithium batteries, it's number 12. All right, and then I've got shutdown at 10%, low battery at 20%, and restart unit at 50%. Um, so far, I've never experienced any of that. I've never been down to 10%. I've never even been down to 50%. Okay. All right. That's it, people. That's how I've got my unit set up. It's quick. It's easy to do. Um, a lot of the settings in there, like your power configuration and all that, you don't have to do. That's automatically done if it's sold in your country and you buy it off somebody in your country because they're obviously selling you the inverter that was designed. For Australia, it's 230 volt, 50 hertz. All right. That's it. Keep safe, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this short video. And... Uh, yeah, we'll keep you informed when our little surprise gets here. Bye for now.